All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, and the of great millstone and rule well, and salutations to the Akim around the world that push the truth in sincerity. See this article here? Um, they say, We loot or we die of hunger, food shortages, fuel, unrest in Venezuela right now according to the prophecy of the scriptures there are a lot of places in the world even other than venezuela that are going through these calamities right now and according to the scriptures they say that these things will befall all the earth so it will have similar if not exact things to this it will have similar things to this in all countries very soon because just now everybody will have to go through things like this you understand which is temptation the scriptures talk about what would the whole world have to go through right but it has certain places that will start off or even be worse than others venezuela is one of them they say as the country's economic problem mount they say towns and cities have been hit by an outbreak of looting and violence because there's something you expect to happen in a place where it have suffering and lawlessness you will see stealing i tell the scriptures referring as just about um invading one another's houses you understand not respecting their kings all these things are, is according to prophecy and even starting now right because we know that we in the last times you'll even see things like rape murder and so forth people eating one another it have things like that going on in the world already first the place getting so bad and it will only get worse until the messiah returns right I say amid um Des um, desperate food shortage shortages Venezuelans are picking up new survival skills they say on the night of of 9th, 9th June, January they say for example the right is kind of weird but say for example a hungry mob took just 30 minutes to pick clean a grocery store in the eastern city of of Puerto Ordez Ordaz is Ordaz say so by the time owner Luis Philip and Anatael arrived at the bod the bodega it opened five months earlier the looters had holded away everything from cold cuts to catch up to the cash register so to steal everything <laughs> because they understand that hey they might get an next chance like this again so they get as much as they could and probably with even within the even within the that looting people's probably stealing from each other also because they see one person have more than me so they might try to take from that person so they could have more for themselves you know, sound that is how terrible this world is right now. It says it makes you want to cry, said Anat Anatel in a telephone interview. I think we are headed for chaos. <laughs> but are done in chaos already. It says ev evidence for his prediction can be found in towns and cities across Venezuela that have been hit by an outbreak of looting and mob violence say angry about empty supermarket shelves and soaring prices some people are breaking into warehouses ramsacking food trucks and invading outlying farms there's something that will like i say will just get worse because right now they have places to do these things too when the time comes that all our food run out it will get even more difficult for them so right now they still have it kind of good because they still have sources of food that they could go to when those sources of food actually run out that is when they will start to catch the ass because that is when they will start to, act, how to actually start to to rob people or even worse as the scriptures say eat people to survive Right, it said, second is just 9 verse 1, right? He answered me then and said, Measure out the time diligently in itself. 
and when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made right God all right let me go forward it said therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world which is one of the signs we see in right now then shall thou understand that the most high speak of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning and he did so through the prophets right for like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end and the end is manifest right because he must have a special way how he does actually tell time he do he do wear well rolex on his hand you understand his his method of telling time and he saw method of telling time is not the same thing so you can't watch on a clock and be able to know when these things going to happen they say even so the time also of the highest have have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works like the creation wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs you understand because seeing certain signs which was prophesied through his prophets over a period of time is how we just know when that time coming which is the end that way scriptures just talk about observe the signs you understand look at the signs because these signs that the scriptures talk about that being fulfilled is what does tell you or show you that you're close to the end they say and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works right by being according to the most high how you were to be doing his will and by faith not just works but also by faith by belief whereby ye have believed right now there's how the, the most high actually showing his signs in all of these prophecies that are happening right now you're actually seeing it taking place before your eyes all right so see um during the first 11 days of january of january the venezuelan observatory for social conflict a caracas rights group recorded 107 episodes of looting and several deaths in 19 of Venezuela's 23 states hmm. so 19 of Venezuela 23 states it had looting and deaths and I just want to choose to talk about it because it could be worse the in that it didn't include rapes that didn't include probably a lot of other bad things that could happen to you I say but the f but the figures don't fully capture the level of desperation it's a recent headlines from Venezuela read like notes from the apocalypse they say on on Margarita Island dozens of people waded into the ocean and forced their way abroad aboard Slakia, a fish boat making off with its catch of sardines so people even swimming out the boats to steal from people who catch and fish because it's much easier to look for somebody else that doing the work and just take it from them it's like all these scriptures talk about you'll plant but you wouldn't be able to dig up you understand you'll be putting in that work but you'll carry the benefits first things will be so hectic People will be stealing so much and doing so much. You have so much of chaos. All the work and effort you will be putting into, you wouldn't have nothing to reap from. So all the, all these people who need studying to to, um, to build riches and get this and get that, when this place is going to chaos, none of those things gonna help you. Even if you think you could buy enough food, the most I can make all that food run out or spoil. Or anything if you want to kill you you can't escape it that's why they say if you had to get anything in this world 
don't let it be your first focus Mosa is your first focus and then after that little one or two things that you're a lawyer to have well all right but don't think that these things is things to hold on to because it can be taken away from me at any point in time like the scriptures say where moth doth corrupt and thieves break through and steal right they say in the city of maraca maraca i think it's maraca if it's pronounced in spanish maraca it said just west of caracas thieves broke into thieves broke into a a veterinary school stole two pregnant thoroughbred horses and slaughtered them for meat <laughs> so people even eating abominables just to stay alive if anybody who watching this video i want to read this i wouldn't read the whole thing but i will i will post the link in the comments so anybody who want to go through it could be able to read it for themselves but they just an idea of the different things that these people are going through right now as the scriptures say the judgment will start in the house of israel first and you know the venezuelans is one of the tribes so right now they're feeling the suffering so the second is just 15 I'll start from three. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And that incredulity refers to a lack of faith. You understand? Don't let people who don't believe, don't let them bother you. It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You understand? The scriptures say that he'll protect his people in that day. So, the people in Venezuela who are to be going through all our suffering and starving to death is because you understand they wasn't chosen they are not one of his they wasn't trying to do according to his will it said behold said behold said the Lord I will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction it say for wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled so the most are getting fed up the time that they had to be able to be wicked and enjoy the wickedness that time running out it said therefore said the lord i will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit neither will i suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves so they start to get cut off Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. It's like all the scriptures talk in Luke, I think it's Luke 18, where they say, Shall not he avenge his own elect that cry unto him daily for the abominations done? Because the elect don't like, don't like this place, and they don't like the wickedness, and to see the wicked prosper and enjoy it. And he most I hear in them. Say and therefore, said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And will destroy all the land thereof you see you see you see you'll smite egypt with plagues and if he smites in egypt with plagues all of them who are joined onto egypt as in their day that is like to follow the the customs of egypt and want to be one with the system they will feel this thing also i read the verse 26 and 27 and say for the lord knoweth all them that sin against him and therefore delivered he them unto death and destruction so just like when proverbs he say you're not going to protect you in those times but he will laugh at your calamity he say for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them for the most high shall not deliver you because you have sinned against him you understand so those who don't want to live according to his ways 
when the time of destruction come, he's not going to deliver you out of it. He's going to laugh while you're being destroyed. Because you delight in wickedness and in doing your own thing. And in being joined onto Babylon system. The Babylon system save you. You understand? Anyway, with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, double honors the apostles, and the laws of great Millicent are real well, and salutations to the Akim around the world that push the truth in sincerity. For the Akim pushing hard all day, as you can see, time running out, time coming closer. Try to stay in the spirit, try to keep doing what you're supposed to do, and pray that you don't fall off. Shalom.